Here we are then, waiting for the green lights to get qualifying underway for the British Grand Prix. Looking at this field today, Anthony, do you think we're going to see anyone take a chance? Maybe run the hard tyres and save some of the grippier tyres for the race tomorrow? Well, I'd be surprised in all honesty. It's only the front runners that really have the pace to get away with that. And even then, at the end of the day, it's a big risk. Track position is the most important thing, and it's rarely worth sacrificing for a slightly more optimal strategy in the race. So I doubt we're going to see anyone trying it. I have been wrong before, though. We certainly do see some risky decisions every now and then, and it's a gamble that's sometimes worth taking. But if it were me in the car, I would want to be on the fastest tyre for my qualifying lap, without a doubt. And with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. Weber, Joker and Sergio Perez. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. The pain of parting is nothing to the joy of meeting again. And how joyous indeed it is to be back at Silverstone once more for the British Grand Prix. The queues to get in this morning extended miles back down the A43, such as the enthusiasm for Formula One in this country. The 3.6 mile long Silverstone circuit is one of the longest of the season, with 18 corners in the current layout. With average lap speeds reaching around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the quickest tracks of the year. Watch out for cars taking the right-handers of Abbey and Cops flat out. Anthony Davidson also joins me in the commentary box today. Let's talk about Joker. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances, but what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another great race today. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Great work from Lucas Weber yesterday, sees him start from pole, and Joker completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Vettel, Devon Butler, and Sainz, Hamilton, Bottas, Russell, and Lando Norris, Raikkonen, Gasly, Nico Hülkenberg, and Albon, Stroll, Verstappen, Charles Leclerc, and Roman Grosjean. Fiat and Kevin Magnussen fills the last spot on the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track.
Marcus is coming in for a stop. Worked hard for that one. Congratulations. Ferrari have really pulled it out of the bag today. It's a great win. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Here come our winners now. A thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Joker increases their championship lead. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I'll probably go for Pierre Gasly. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in amongst the pack, but it's the driver's job to capitalise on those opportunities, and he did so with a lot of skill. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari continued to extend the gap at the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one.